I'm in the highest train station in New York City, Smith Street and 9th Street, all the way up high, and I can see some of the buildings of Brooklyn. But I'm gonna be heading to a neighborhood over that way, which I covered a couple of years ago that's called Red Hook. And it's a really cool neighborhood that doesn't get really much of a footage. I'm gonna go over here for an update to see what's happening in the neighborhood, and I'm gonna take you guys with me, so join me. I already came a level down. There's a highway over there, then. So I'm pretty sure I gotta cross one of these streets to make it to the other side of the neighborhood. I'll figure it out. We got the escalators that takes you down here. Let's see how deep it is. Not as deep as other stations, but we'll figure out what's going on downstairs. So this is Carroll Gardens, but I'm gonna walk forward. And then where you see the overpass is above me is Highway 478. Then in the other side should be the neighborhood I'm trying to go, which is Red Hook. So far, this is a nice neighborhood right by the train station. Seems like they develop it a lot. There's gonna be a little bit of a contrast when I go in the other side. You can see the bridge is over there, pretty high. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting neighborhood with an easy commute from the F train into Manhattan. And then I like how beautiful the building is all over here. Some of the buildings kind of reminds me of Philly a little bit. Like the way how it's designed, the architecture and all of that. Here you admire the beauty of the architecture. And then the bridge is over there, and then once I cross it to the other side, it's officially Red Hook. This is the bridge over here, pretty high up. Let's right, see if I can cross the street. Kind of resembles the neighborhood of Sunset Park when you go by Industrial City. I'm gonna cross the street over here. And then this other side should be Red Hook. So we have officially entered Red Hook. And the thing is, last time I came, I didn't explore this park. And I had a lot of people that lives in the area telling me why I didn't show this area. So we're gonna walk around here and then we're gonna make it to the other side to show you what's going on. So half of Red Hook is this, the housing projects. And like I said, I had a couple of viewers from my past video that were upset I didn't show this. But yeah, this is half of the neighborhood too. And then if you go to the other half, it's pretty much developed. So I'm probably gonna shortcut through those buildings and go to the other side. There should be a park over there. And then we're gonna show you the other part of Red Hook, which is a pretty interesting neighborhood. So this is literally like a city within a city. For those who are not familiar, in New York City, they have a lot of these buildings, which are mostly like low-income housing. It's like a mixture of people. It doesn't get like the best reputation, but there's talented people, working people that live in these types of buildings. And it's part of New York City culture. So it's been a minute since I walked throughout PJs are the color in New York City, but this is just massive. It keeps going all the way to the end. Like a city within a city. But it's pretty deserted, not much going on. But I think they're renovating like the sidewalk, which it connects to the other side of the neighborhood. Most of the projects that I pass by, there's always people, but this one is just the only people I see all the only people I see are the construction workers. So but yeah, but let's make it to the other side. And another thing about this type of building is that people know each other and they look out for each other. Well, hopefully the viewers uh, were upset that I didn't show this part of Red Hook. They're happy now, and yes, it exists, and it is a community happening over here. Now we're gonna make it, there's a park over here, and we're gonna make it to the other side to show you what's happening. So ahead of me is a park. I think I saw it from the other side, but I never make it to this park. This is like half of the neighborhood, but it's called, I don't know if it's pronounced like Coffee or Kofi Park. But it's like a recreational park. I see a couple of people hanging out there and see some nature ahead, so I'm gonna show you guys what's happening ahead of me. We just passed like half of the neighborhood, which is covered with the PJs. Pretty cool, but now we're gonna walk over here. And the parking is pretty big, wow. I like how they decorate it with flowers and plants. Most of the parts of New York, you know, they try to keep it beautiful. So I guess this is where all the action happens in Red Hook, but today it's a little bit hot. Or maybe when kids get off of school or the workers are done, then they come and hang out over here. Yeah, but so far, so nice, you know. They also got like restrooms if you gotta use it. And then the nature over here, let's walk over this way to see what can we find. So we got a table here where you can play dominoes, which is really cool. And they got a graffiti or mural free community community event. That's pretty cool. And then they got a couple of benches for you to sit around. There's a beautiful church right there across the street, which I'll make my way there in a bit. I'm just showing you guys the park. It's crazy how the neighborhood changes quickly when I make it over here to park. It's like a different vibe from the other side. In a good way, you know, 
Like a lot of people, they will probably judge the neighborhood when they start entering that community over there. But then, you know, it's a lot happening over here. And this is a super, super underrated neighborhood in Brooklyn. So this is like a small neighborhood. And it kind of feels at some point when you walk around like a small town vibe. But it's in the heart of the Brooklyn. The heart of Brooklyn, surrounded by other neighborhoods. But it's a little bit like divided with the highway in the back. But there's a wall happening over here, you know. So I'm here to explore again. It's been years since I've been in this neighborhood. So I'm making it a ritual street. I'm probably going to make it right towards the end to see what can I find, architecture. And then I'm making it a Van Brunt Street, which is kind of like the main street of Red Hook to see all the business and shops are happening around. One thing I noticed about the neighborhood, like there's really not much people happening over here. But I guess at some point it could be good when you want to escape all that craziness of Manhattan. And then also the neighborhood, if you go all the way in the other side, is served by the New York City Ferry, which it will take you to lower Manhattan by Wall Street. And when we go to the other side, you're going to see the waterfront with the view of Manhattan skyline. But let's go deep into the neighborhood to see what else can we find. You know, here we got a huge church. Gonna go to the other side to see if I can get the front part of the church. It's it pretty much like you'll see in any other church around the neighborhood in New York and Jersey. But yeah, pretty cool. Well, not much happening over this way, just a lot of warehouses. So now I'm gonna make it to Van Brunt Street. That's where they got all the restaurants going on and a couple of shops and probably more activity happening. So let's see what's going on. So now I made it to Van Brunt, so I'm gonna walk ahead to see what's happening. Like I said, it's been years since I've been here. So not sure if anything has changed, but that's the point of exploring to see what's going on in the neighborhood. For the street, there's a lot of uh, working people. Look at this car, it's like a classic. Wow. Pretty rare that you see an old school car. But those cars are like good, good quality. You know, made out of a good material. Like I say, this area is more deserted. But I can think if I do a block or two, then it's gonna get more interesting. Another little classic car. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's like a flashback. It takes you back in time. I probably wasn't even born before when they came out with those cars, but still good to look at it. You know, still pretty cool to look at it. So, something pretty interesting. But let's go over here because I think the excitement starts across the street. Made it to this street because it has something pretty interesting. Look, cobblestone. So, I guess back in the days, most of the streets used to be like this. So, I'm a fan of cobblestones. Might need like a little bit of a retouch. But yeah, now we're going to make it back to the main street and see all the stores are going. Look at this truck. It's pretty cool. Wow. So we got a couple of business here, a couple of restaurants. Red Hooks has some cool restaurants. Last time I came, I ate, I think it was a barbecue joint. I'm going to see if it's still there. I don't remember where it says. Where it is? Lobs Red Hook Lobster Pound. I think they're pretty much known for the lobsters. Like if you're a fan of lobsters, you could get some really good lobsters in this neighborhood. Too bad, like I said many times, I'm allergic to seafood, but this could be a good spot to get in. I think if you go by the waterfront, you'll be able to get it too. Also, this neighborhood is known for having an Ikea around here in Brooklyn. The other one is in Elizabeth, New Jersey, but they have it over here too. But here's getting a little bit more interesting, you know, the streets, the vibe. You know, it is where it gets nice, so like the architecture. We got Pioneer Street right there ahead, which I'll probably make a merge to see what the street looks like. And I think once I pass it, it gets even nicer on the other side. So it'd be good to capture what's going on. Like I said, there's a couple of restaurants and joints over here. Like bars if you want a beer, some good food. They have it over here in Red Hook. Totally worth to come check it out and explore. So I merged into Pioneer Street because I want to show you the street, which is pretty small, but it has some pretty interesting things to look at. Like a beautiful architecture. It's like some apartment complex, but they're only made of two floors. So it kind of makes it feel like if you're in a small town or some other city. And this is what it looks like, look. Beautiful apartments. The only bad thing about this neighborhood, it doesn't have the train station. So you have to get off at Smith and Nine and walk around here or the ferry. But they do have some buses that goes around here. keeps going but this one's like abandoned so it'd be nicer to do like a retouch a little bit rundown and over here too maybe they can renovate this building a little bit more but still you know pretty nice to look at this is a beautiful street right here like I say it feels like if you're in a small town it takes you right to the park so pretty cool to look at but now let's make it back to Van Brunt Street 
to keep us flowing over there and see what's going on. And then we'll probably make it by the waterfront because there's going to be some pretty cool things to look at over there. So back in the street and over here it gets pretty interesting. I'll show you what's happening. So there's a pizzeria over here. Very cool pizzeria. I like how they got all the trees over here decorating the area. And then on the other side of the street, it's pretty beautiful. Some beautiful apartments. So you see those beautiful apartments over there. And this is an empty lot, so I'm not sure if they're going to develop something. Which they should, because this neighborhood has a lot of potential. And then the thing that is right by the water, it gives it like a good vibe. But yeah, pretty cool. I might have to do a detour in this other street. Because I see some things that are pretty interesting and I, I want to show you guys. So this over here is King Street. And like I said, it's been years since I've been here, but they might have developed all this over here ahead of me. Look at this. So it's some new apartments, like modern. And it even has, I guess, parking lot. You know, parking in New York is horrendous. Not sure if underneath it's like a garage where they can put the car inside, but yeah. It looks pretty cool. The design and everything, it's like modern. So with that way behind me, if you walk towards the end, that's where you take the New York City Ferry. But pretty much like the other terminal in Sunset Park, there's not really much around, just like warehouses, a couple of buildings. So maybe in the future they might develop it or something, but like more of the action happens around here by Van Brunt. Then we're gonna walk towards the other end. There should be a couple of restaurants and cool spots to show you guys. So the main street keeps going. There's actually a coffee shop across the street, Red Hook Coffee Shop. And I saw a couple of people chilling around, kind of made, like I said, once again, it makes it feel like if you're outside the city, you know, like not much going on, but it's, you know, like a little small town vibe, you know, everybody getting along and all that. So it's over here, Southern Sullivan Street. This might be like a bar. So I guess if you're into bars and might be a pizzeria, it's actually a pizzeria. Dokies. And there are some interesting things happening ahead of me. This is like brand, brand new. It even has a coffee shop in the first floor, so wow. Nice looking building. And I feel like it's more like an artistic vibe than they... So here you got a street meal, and like you... And like I said in my previous videos, I really love street art. Especially around the cafes and shops. So this is one of the things about the street here. It looks pretty cool with all the nature and the trees. So it's like, I mean, it has a lot of potential. There are stores and stuff. But then between the stores, there's also like residential apartment complex. Just like it's an art gallery. They have a lot of art gallery in Red Hook. So it's like an artistic district. And a wine store right here. And there's more beautiful architecture across. You know, I feel this is a good neighborhood to bike around. And the main street, they got the bike lane. So I say, but most of New York City is, ro is always fun to bike. But then look at this beautiful street right here too. I like the lights, how they look like. It looks pretty cool. Thank God for these trees, because these trees makes it feel a little bit cooler, you know. Today is not like extremely hot, but it's a little bit, you know, humid. But I feel like the trees give it a little bit of a breeze. So that helps out a lot. Then I see like this over here. They might develop something over here. Then there's another empty lot and there's a couple of corners. And then right here, more cobblestones. Which I'll show you guys in a bit. So you see it? Cobblestone streets. So you can smell the history. I'm probably going to walk this street. So this might be a good neighborhood to master your photography skills, Instagram, whatever. Maybe modeling pictures. You can come to streets like this. With all the crowds, nobody disturbing you. And you can take a look at this. Like, look at the street right here. It's pretty nice. And then all the apartment complex. So it's pretty interesting. The only thing that messes us up when they do this. But still pretty nice. I'm gonna walk the street to the other end because I see some buildings. It looks like some brownstone buildings, but I think it's pretty worth to check it out. Love how quiet it is, you know. It's like you literally got the whole neighborhood to yourself. So in this reddish building, it says Cacao Pieto. So I'm gonna assume maybe it's a chocolate shop. Or it could be like a chocolate factory and I see a restaurant next to it. But wow, this street over here is really impressive. I'm gonna show you. I see a couple of street art. 
Let me just show you the 360 view and probably I'll b-roll it, but wow. This is just amazing. But I gotta tell you, it just feels like you're in some town in the south. It doesn't feel like you're in New York City, but it's the beauty about the city. So, so far the street is pretty cool and I think it's one of my favorite parts of the neighborhood with the cobblestones and the architecture like this. And then it's good to know that they're developing might be like an apartment complex. Like I said, I know that there's a lot of potential in this neighborhood. I forgot I gotta go to my left side to explore the end of the street. Well, look at this, they got some, this is an empty lot right here. Maybe they might develop something and then the funny thing is that they develop like this modern buildings over here. And then we got this shop over here, Cacao Prieto. And then like I said, once again, there's some beautiful architecture ahead of me that I think it's worth checking out. So it's like, you gotta keep an eye on every street that you walk here because there might be something interesting to look at. The good thing that that neighborhood is not really that big, so it's easy to get around and look around. But here you have an idea. Even better with the cobblestones. The brownstones and then over here, it's even nicer. Wow, beautiful street. just walk around the cobblestone so yep super super lovely street and now I'm just gonna make my way to the other side and end it up by the waterfront because I think that's gonna be the grand finale so I'm approaching a pier or a park and I think it's gonna be pretty interesting and I'm not sure if you can see it clearly but you got Manhattan skyline and Jersey City is over this way but this is gonna be pretty lovely over here and over here you can rent the city bikes so it's a good way to explore the neighborhood too. And then not far from here, I think right across is Governor's Island, which is a pretty cool island. I did a video there like a couple of years, so I gotta return back and explore more of it. And I'll probably bring my bike this time. This might be new or the last time I came, I don't remember seeing this. So they probably developed this area over here. So let's walk and see what's going on so this is the entrance right here Luis Valentino parking pier so it goes all the way to the end got a flag over there a couple of people sitting here and chilling I see the New York City ferry passing by and I think if I go that way it should be good that's where our supermarket is but yeah this is really lovely and really pleasant I can actually see the Statue of Liberty right there too so see what's going on over here a little bit of a history historic coast working coast so yeah pretty nice then the closer I get to the water the cooler it is so like I say not sure how new this is but last time I came this wasn't here or I didn't saw it I probably missed it but thank God I took a look at the map and I discovered it so let's walk towards the end of the pier I love feeling that, that ocean breeze, you know, it's like super relaxing, like an ASMR vibe. And the Statue of Liberty is like right there, right in front of me. So I'm not sure where you can see, but that's Jersey City right there. And I think a little head must be Governor's Island and then I'm gonna make it to that side. So that was a cool pier, but let's make it to the other side, which I think is gonna be even more interesting, probably like a better view. So I'm walking on the other side of the pier. This must be like a newer spot that they renovated. But then there's a big supermarket over that way. It says, please walk your bikes. You see the ducks just chilling. But yeah, this is a really nice view over here. I love it. Pretty much I love it so far. That's Staten Island right there. You actually see the Verrazano Bridge too. This area is cool. It kind of gives you like a vibe like if you're in the market or like a European vibe. There's a couple of restaurants over there. Then, like I said, you got the waterfall. I think you can walk all the way to the end. I'm trying to remember. And then we got like an old train, a former train over here, just sitting over here. Or maybe it's a tram. It's actually like a tram, I think. There used to be trams around New York City back in the days, early 1900s, and you have an idea what it looks like on the inside. 
or it's even a bird chilling. But yeah, this is really, really cool right here. Giving you a free sister view. It keeps going to the end. I think if I walk to the end, I could get a nice view of Red Hook and probably some skyline of uh, Manhattan. So here you get a little view of some of the market, lower Manhattan, Jersey City right there, and the Statue of Liberty. So it's really impressive to be here. Super peaceful, you know, pretty nice. Some really cool vibes, you know, really good views. But I'm gonna walk over this side. There are a couple of restaurants or spots to check out. I think there's even a barbecue joint over here. But yeah, pretty lovely. Wow, this building is super, super long. Keeps going. Let's see what's going on. This has got like a couple of stores and stuff happening. But yeah, this building ahead of me is called Red Hook Barbecue. Which this is a spot that I ate last time. But I gotta walk the street to see what else is going on. So this is a smokehouse joint right here. Hometown Barbecue. Entrance is around the corner. And I ate here and it was really good. Got some outdoor sitting areas. It was really hot. But who knows, maybe it's hotter inside, but then there's a couple of spots too. Brooklyn crabs, I guess it's like a seafood joint. It's pretty cool then. There's another joint over there, but it looks like it's closed right now. This must be the vibe. I'm gonna assume it gets packed during the weekend. So I decided to stop here and have some barbecue. I'm gonna try the pork alone. Wow, this is brisket. Actually, it's not pork. I forgot it's brisket, but it's really good. So we're gonna meet over here. Mm. Wow. And then I got a collard greens right here. Wow, it's hot. So we're gonna try it. Mm. Wow, this is amazing. Top notch. So I made a stop at the barbecue joint right there. And the food was good, you know, I didn't really film much. I didn't really film that much because they had music playing. I don't want to get a copyright, but like I, say, like I say, that brisket was really good. Well seasoned and the collard greens were really good. So if you happen to be around, you should check it out. Really good spot here and right by the waterfront. This is the other side of the Main Street, Van Brunt. This must be like a new development that they pop up with parking lot. But yeah, it's good to know that Van Brunt goes all the way to the end to the waterfront and where the restaurants are. So it's like a really cool vibe, but super chill, you know, really chill. Good way for you to spend with friends or family. So, you know, I highly recommend that you guys check out the neighborhood of Red Hook in Brooklyn. It's a pretty nice neighborhood. And you see the nature over here happening. It's pretty interesting and pretty nice. And there's the B61 bus. I'll take it to Park Slope which Park Slope is not too far from here once you go on the other side of the bridge, of the highway. And I think this is like a Caribbean restaurant. Say Island Vibes, or maybe like a coffee shop. Yeah, like I said, they got a lot of cool spots over here. The Good Fork. It's like a, it's like a page over there. Wow. But yeah, this is the neighborhood of Red Hook. So that was the end of my video exploring Red Hook in Brooklyn. I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all and peace.